now I'm going to assume that you've tried this problem on your own and that I can show you how to solve it. So we have this. Jim bought a new refrigerator for $1,050 on February 12th. So that sounds like important information. He purchased it from Simers Appliances, which gives customers a cash discount of 303 by 10 net 30, net over 30. What is the amount due if Jim pays on February 20th? So this is a slightly different way of writing cash discounts to what I've discussed in the video, but it's the exact same idea. This in longer form would be 3% 10 um, over net 30, which means that you get a 3% discount if you pay within 10 days. Um, if you weren't familiar with this term or you need some more practice with this kind of cash discount terminology, we have a video on cash discounts where we discuss this terminology. But anyways, if he's bought it on February 12th, and he has paid for it by February 20th, he would be applicable for this 3% discount because he was paid within 10 days. So if it's paid within 10 days and he gets a 3% discount, this is equal to 1,050 times by 0 0.97 because he gets a 3% discount. So he retains 97% of the value is retained because he has a 3% discount. And this is equal to, one. Th um, here, let me do it. I mean, I know the answer, but... Um, let me just do it just for show. One times, um, sorry, 1,050 times 0 0.97. Yep, that's option choice C, 1,815.50. Um, yeah. Now, the next question is 25% of 1 of 1 and 3 eighths is equal to. Well, 25%. Okay, so this is a, this is a bit of an interesting one regarding converting um, decimals to percent, uh, percents to decimals. So 25% is the same thing as one over four. If you're not familiar with how I came to this, we have video between converting fractions to percents, decimals to percents and things like that. Now, of, of now in these problems, if you get this keyword of, it means um, you have to multiply because you're taking a part of one and three over eights, which is equal um, of one and three eights times 11 over eight. This is equal to 11 over 32 there. That's how you would solve this. And that is answer choice B, 11 over 32. Not 32%, by the way. This is completely wrong. Uh, what is 21% of 732? Well, 21%, again, this is just converting percent to decimal. 21% is equal to 0 0.21. So what we are asking right now is 732. 732 times 0 0.21. So uh, you can do that on paper or on your calculator. Um, usually for these tests, they allow a calculator. If not, this is a fairly simple problem to do on paper as well. Uh, 153.72. Um, actually, this video is becoming a bit long, so I'll have to make a, a, another part to um, complete this. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this helpful, and goodbye.